Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I am going to be watercolor painting a fish. That is correct. This is something I've done a lot of times, and it's something I'm going to be doing a lot of times after this video. And since I haven't watercolor painted a fish in, I want to say, about a week, I figured it would be fun to, well, watercolor paint a fish in today's video. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be first off, though, before I actually watercolor paint the fish, sketching the fish itself with my pencil Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil in 0.5 millimeter lead size. Then, if I mess up any of the lines, I'm going to be using my pencil click eraser to, well, fix those lines with um, and erase those lines and everything like that. And then, after that, I am actually going to be, well, watercolor painting the fish with my Winsor & Newton mobile watercolor set, which I do like quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie, it's only got some minor issues, you know what I'm saying? And then, well, to actually, I do suppose, get the watercolor paint on the on, on the paper, I'm gonna have to use a brush, and I have some Fundamentals Creative Mark brushes with me today. And after I'm done with all of that, I am then going to be going over all of the lines that I previously made with my pencil graph gear with my Sharpie S gel pen in 0.7 millimeter size, just to make the drawing look a little bit more distinct than it already probably looks. But without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and move everything to the side and go ahead and actually start sketching the fish that I am, well, going to be, well, watercolor painting eventually in today's video. Without further ado, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the mouth. So I'm just going to start the mouth, I think, right here. And I don't want this fish to be the biggest, but I also certainly don't want it to be the smallest. So I'm just going to have that kind of coming down like that kind of thing, just like that. And then I'm just going to have it kind of coming up like that kind of thing. And it's just going to kind of be coming down like that kind of thing. And then I'm going to have the tail go all the way up and then down. Just like that. And I will admit, I'm not very happy with the bottom half of the fish. I don't really like it. It's not as straight up and down as I want. So I am going to fix the bottom half of the thick fish. Of the thick of the fish. Uh, but it should be good after that. It should be all good after that. There we go. Do I like that more? Eh, I think so. I think I like that more. Let's go and add some teeth. Not my best fish ever, but it is what it is kind of thing. I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll look better once I get the pen on it, once I get some watercolor paints on it. Maybe I'll fix it in a minute, though, if I really feel like it. There you go. That's much better. Much more happy with that now. There you go. Much more happy with that. And now let's go ahead and just erase these lines as well. Just because there's a little bit left over. And I'm going to go and add the fins now. And I think that's all I want to do. I think that's all I want to do. A pretty basic fish. Nothing really too complex or anything like that. Pretty basic fish by my measures. But I think it's a pretty good looking fish nonetheless. And I am definitely more happy with it than not. That is for sure. I do think today, I've been doing a lot of wet on dry. Uh, but I think I want to do uh, wet on wet today. So I think that is the plan. And I think I'm going to use probably uh, this brush for everything. I think I'm probably just going to use that brush for everything. I am probably going to wet the paper. Uh, with this brush though and this is my fundamentals creative mark uh, three-fourths wash and this is my fundamentals creative mark uh, six shader and i think uh, these are the two brushes i'm going to be using today i gotta go ahead and get some water in my uh, little red solo cup right here though so let's just go ahead and pour a little bit of water in should be plenty take a sip of water i'm gonna go and grab 
some pot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pot right here, which I use to hold up the back of my watercolor set because otherwise it keeps falling over. Very annoying. It's my really one, the, I'm like the, 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 the actual paint itself is really nice, high quality paint. And my only issue is that it keeps, it really, really, really likes to fall over backwards, which is so damn annoying, I ain't gonna lie, oh, so damn annoying. Do I actually wanna use this brush? Or do I want to, hmm, what am I thinking? Or do I wanna, I think I am gonna use this brush. Yeah, I'm gonna use this brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think wet the top of the fish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet all of this real quick. I'm just gonna get it super wet. I really, 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 like a, a really, really, really uh, sort of wet on wet sort of look. And so that's what I'm going for. I'm making it very wet. I know this is probably going to dry quite a bit by the time I get to a lot of the area on this paper, but that's okay. I'm really not too worried about it. Just kind of having fun with this fish today, not really trying to accomplish anything in particular. Just kind of want to have fun. And I certainly am so far, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. There we go. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna go and just dry it real quick. Go ahead and just put that down right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush. And I think the color I'm gonna be using for this fish today is just going to be black. So I'm gonna go and grab some black and I'm just gonna go ahead and start going at it. And I'm just gonna kind of have fun, not really worry about like too much shading or anything like that kind of thing. Just kind of have fun with just putting the uh, color wherever I want it to be and just try to make it look as interesting as possible. Is kind of the goal. Uh oh, this is starting to dry though. Let's get that wet on wet going again. Because all of that, some of that down there was starting to dry. You know, I'm just kind of having fun with this, not really caring too much about really how the shading looks. I just kind of want it to look interesting, and uh, I don't really care how it looks interesting. I just kind of want to do it. I'm just uh, drawing for fun today, not really trying to accomplish anything significantly new or just significant with this drawing at all just kind of having fun uh with it in all honesty and i am certainly having a lot of fun with it i'm having a lot of fun right now so uh certainly no complaints on my behalf i think i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the tail now how's the tail looking uh, needs to be a little bit more wet right there and down here and up here it's pretty much completely dry so let's just go ahead and fix that real quick and let's go ahead and start going at it with black
Alrighty. Well, I think I'm just about done. I think there's maybe one or two more areas where I kind of want to go over them. Like this area right here. And I think like this area up here. And I think that's just about it. Alrighty. Well, about that, now I've just got to let this dry. This is soaking wet right now. Uh, I think there's maybe, actually, I think I want to get this a little bit more wet as well. And then go and just add some more to this as well. Alrighty. So now, essentially, I just need to let this dry. <laughs> this is, like, soaking wet right now kind of thing, so... There is, it's gonna, it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute to dry, that is for sure. But that's okay. I know, overall, pretty happy with how this fish is turning out. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I do like it quite a bit. And um, yeah, I really enjoy doing wet on wet. Wet on wet's a lot more fun than doing a wet on dry or dry on wet or whatever you wanna call it kind of thing. Um, I don't know, I really enjoy it. There's just a lot more uh, sort of texture to it. I really enjoy it doing, don't get me wrong, watercolor painting in general over the last month or so i've really just been enjoying in general no matter what it is wet on dry dry on wet wet on wet i don't care kind of thing um I've, i think it's been a lot of fun and i've really enjoyed learning some of the uh, intricacies of uh, watercolor painting but i think wet on wet is still definitely one of my favorite ways to watercolor paint it's just so much fun i can lie it really is just so much fun It's just very interesting. You get a very interesting texture and you can just do so many layers and everything. I, I love it. I love it. And it, it's it's one of those things as well. I'm an impatient person and watercolor painting is pretty notorious for taking a long time. You have to do a lot of layers to really get the color you want kind of thing. And with wet on wet, you can kind of just keep layering it on and not really care about shading or anything like that kind of thing. And that's kind of one of the things I really like about it. It's definitely one of the things I really like about it. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, well, I've got to let this dry now though. Uh, what do I want to do while I'm letting it dry? I don't know. What do I want to do while I'm letting it dry? I don't, I don't know in all honesty. I've, I've got a while to wait. A while to wait. I might just, uh, I might go eat some food and come back. Because <laughs> I think this is going to take probably like a solid 15 minutes to fully dry to, to the point where I can, uh, actually use my Sharpie S gel pen. So I think I'm gonna leave my phone running and uh, just do a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a time lapse over the next uh, couple minutes or so. Uh, while, I, while, while I go eat, I think I'm gonna go eat some pizza or something. I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go eat some pizza. And then after I'm done eating my pizza, I'm gonna come back here, uh, up here and uh, finish off the drawing and I'm gonna go ahead and go over all of the lines that I previously made with my mechanical pencil with my Sharpie S gel pen, uh, but I can't do that while it's wet because otherwise the ink will literally just blotch everywhere and it'll look terrible. So I'll be back in, in, in a while kind of thing. I'll be back in a while. I, I'm just going to go eat some food because this is going to take a really long time to dry. That's the thing with wet on wet. It takes a really long time to dry because you just absolutely soak the paper, which is exactly what I did in today's video, which was kind of it kind of, it was purposeful. I purposely did that because I knew I'd get an interesting texture if I did. I'll be back, though. I'll be back, y'all. Have, have fun with the time lapse. Bye. Oh. All right, y'all, I am back. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting it to be, well, it's not all dry yet. This is still kind of wet, but this will be 
dry by the time I work my way through the rest of the uh, drawing, but I was not really expecting this to be quite quite this dry yet, I will admit. I wasn't really expecting it to be quite this dry. Uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf, but I do think without further ado, I'm not going to complain, got to think it's dry a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I do think without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get my Sharpie S gel pen all out. And let's go ahead and start, uh, well, going over all of the lines, all of the lines that I made with my mechanical pencil uh, to just make this drawing just a little bit more distinct than it is right now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just start with the tail right here and just start going down like this. I am going to avoid the top of the tail just for the moment because it is still a little bit wet, but that is what it is all the way down like that. I'm going to go and do the same thing right here. And I think I'm going to move this stuff over and whatnot. Move this over to a completely different place just in case I nudge it because my computer is sitting over there. And I really don't feel like getting my computer. <laughs> with a, I really don't feel like getting a bunch of water on my computer. That would certainly suck. I'm going to go and just uh, flip this around just so I can go ahead and start doing this up here. Just to make it all a little bit easier on myself. Make sure y'all can actually see that, okay? And of course, I'm going to be going over all of these lines once again after I am done just doing the first layer on all of these lines and whatnot. I'm going to go and do the jaw now, the mouth, I suppose. And now I'm going to go ahead and start working on all the teeth, I think. It's just so much easier to do it this way because then I can put my hand uh, somewhere where it's not wet so I don't feel bad about putting my hand down on the paper. Just makes my hand just all that much more stable, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Just being able to put my hand down on the paper is so nice. Is this dry now? I think that's dry. So let's go ahead and do this as well. And there we go. I think that is most everything that I need to do. I think I just need to do the fins. And then after that, this uh, will pretty much be complete uh, with the first layer, at least. I've still got to do the second layer, but it'll be more complete than not. Let me just put it that way. Ooh, I ate some pizza while I was taking a little bit of a break. It was some pretty gas-ass pizza, I ain't gonna lie. But I definitely, carbs make me really tired. I'm definitely a little bit tired right now. But I'm feeling good nonetheless. Especially since I haven't had a monster today as well. I'm feeling, I'm feeling decently tired right now. Uh, man, eating carbs and then, uh, and then having a monster right after. That's the, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. But no monster for me right now.
And now I'm just darkening up uh, all of the areas where there's a, a 90 degree angle or more or less kind of thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and darken up the, some of the teeth now. I forgot to do that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the fins. I think I need to do the second layer on the fins too. I almost forgot. All right, and there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am overall very, very, very happy with how this turned out. Let's just take a look from a distance. What am I thinking? Is there anything else I want to do to this? I'm thinking just uh, something I kind of want to do better is I just kind of want to clean this line up just a little bit and make this just a little bit thicker coming down here and a little bit thicker coming down here. Uh, but that's pretty much all I want to do in all honesty. But, you know, there we go, there we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's see. There you go. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to do. Y'all could probably see the side of my face for a moment there. But overall, yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. I really do like it. I think this is definitely uh, one of the... Uh, best pieces of art I made, I've made on my channel. I know like half of the best pieces of art, in my opinion, that I've made on this channel uh, are, are probably fish, but I really am really happy with this drawing. I really, I really do like how it turned out. I really like the uh, different uh, areas of color. I really like the, the um, just uh, texture of it and everything like that kind of thing. Overall, I'm a very, very, very big fan of this watercolor painting. I really do like it. And I hope y'all do as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any constructive criticism uh, for this fish right here. Let me know in the comments down below, of course. And of course, please make sure uh, to just uh, let me know what you guys uh, think of the drawing as a whole. If you guys have any tips for watercolor painting in the future, make sure to let me know in the comments down below as well. And of course, please make sure to, well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. It certainly has been a lot of fun watercolor painting this fish in today's video, and I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Till the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.